Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, everybody? Sorry, we are trying to figure this thing out. I think we're live. I think we're going. Are we live in the comments? I think we're live. We're trying to test out some new software that I got. Um, we are jumping on. So let, let me know if you can see me in the chat box. I know we are streaming this. Um, it's going to be a good time. So well, I hope it's a good time. Anyway, I just wanted to share a couple tips I uh, this morning. Um, talking about civil engineering in general. Uh, obviously with the new virus that has spread like wildfire, things are going a bit crazy, but um, you know, that's okay. You know, life throws some curveballs at us. But if you are jumping onto this, uh, let me know if you indeed can hear and see me. That would be very helpful to know as we are testing out some new software to get this thing rolling. So, um, today I wanted to talk about the announcement from NCEES that pushed out the civil PE exam um, till October. So if you're taking the exam in April, obviously it's canceled that and it's pushed you into an October time frame. And so a lot of people that are that were registered for the April exam have kind of taken a blow, taken a hit because they were all ready to go. We're sitting here in March and April, they cancel it. So that stinks. Um, but if you're coming in and joining me, let me know where you're watching this from and what you're doing. That would be awesome. Who out there is uh, working from home? That would be interesting to know uh, with all of these changes. Hey, good morning, Ali. How you doing? Um, but yeah, so you know, today I just wanted to talk about the state of things, the NCES announcement, and really how we can uh, strive to help each other uh, to move forward, um, even though it's difficult to do so. So, um, yeah, if you, I mean, if you register for the April PE exam and you were hoping to take the exam, then uh, it's a bit of a blow, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, they pushed it out, so you have to register again and take the exam in October. Uh, so you will need to redo that, which is a bit frustrating. So, some tips. So, how do we... Uh, Ali's working from home in Sacramento. So what's it like in Sacramento with our Corona situation? So we are coming live with our Corona edition. Uh, yeah, so you know, there's tips to stay productive still, even if you found yourself taking this hit. Uh, my advice is to still continue to practice problems. It doesn't mean that you necessarily need to, um, you know, study three hours every single day, but you still need to stay in touch with problems. So my advice is to try to, to still get practice problems, whether that's through PPI. Um, you can use our discount code of CIVAC, and that gets you 15% off of any book that's ordered there, which is also helpful. Go use our link for that at civilengineeringacademy.com slash PPI and you can go get 15% off any book to keep you going. Um, we also have our own resources, and if you would like a discount to any of those, use our discount code of discount5me, that's the number five, and that'll get you uh, $5 off of any book or material we have on our own website, civilengineeringacademy.com. So, um, you know, keep getting resources. This is a perfect time uh, because the exam has been extended to October, that you could really dive deep in either your breadth exam uh, material and really get familiar with that, or you just need to still stay, stay pace and create a new schedule that kind of extends things out so it's not so compressed for you. But you still need to stay in touch with problems. Uh, if you're not, you're going to lose some of that momentum that you've built up. And then for those that are taking the FE exam, I believe it's um, they're uh, postponing those till about April. And so it's really not a huge hang up for you. You can just keep studying and get back at it. Uh, Elise saying, my wife went to work. Commute still busy. Less busy, but still busy. California is just always busy, man. It's just always busy there. Uh, I've noticed a huge difference here. I'm in Utah and Salt Lake City. Traffic is way down. People are still coming to work, but more and more uh, employers are pushing people to work from home, um, including myself. So got to work from home these days. Uh, which brings me to some more tips. How do we effectively work from home if your employer is headed that way? What are some tips that you need to do maybe to stay productive while you're home? 
um, that's those are some good thoughts so I've worked from home occasionally for my own professional work life I also you know work from home on my side stuff which is Civil Engineering Academy to try to help others pass their FEPE and give some good career advice and so I can tell you that in order to stay productive at home you definitely need the right equipment for our first of all so if your work has uh, is gearing you to work from home you need to make sure you have the equipment to work from home uh, whether that's a laptop or a monitor uh, something um, you know if you're going to be taking phone calls make sure your phone can forward to like your cell phone or something like that all of those things uh, need to be in place so you can work from home obviously you need a good internet connection things of that nature uh, or you just can't do it and then if you have family if you have kids you need to set up specific hours because I can tell you um, just this week um, kids are going to be coming in and asking you to go play with them still and they're going to get involved and you know you might be able to take breaks here and there but you really need to set dedicated hours to be able to do your job and do work from home so those are just some key tips you know how do you maintain routine I think during times of crisis it's important to maintain a routine so if you're still waking up about the same time you still have time to exercise I would still try to do that um, I myself have and you know I'm getting pretty lazy these days so I'm just not <laughs> I'm just kidding I'd like to work out more um, but you know it's important to keep good habits if you've got those going on and things of that nature I mean everything seems like it's shutting down I'm in here in Utah and they've just announced that a lot of gyms are shutting down the school system is shut down for a few weeks uh, my fun NBA team the Utah Jazz are not playing anymore uh, in fact uh, Rudy Gobert was the first to be tested and so you know we're number one in something right number one in something <laughs> I'm just kidding but yeah so maintain good habits good routines those are all good things keep a good perspective what's the energy like in your house um, you know if you have children and such are you panicking are you comforting uh, what's the energy level like in your house make sure that um, whatever we're portraying in our home is a, is a good mood a good attitude it's, it might be a stressful time but um, civil engineers are always um, can persevere through difficult times so um, Elise saying my kids are off for the next three weeks yes you might you might go a little crazy but be positive keep perspective you can get through it I promise you can um, I have to do the same thing myself so we're gonna get through it uh, um, so yeah keep good routine um, what are some other things we can do that help us get through times like this um, take a break take breaks are good um, understand what your pain points are in your life or things that push your buttons you know if, if you're driving in traffic and people are cutting you off or you're going shopping and there's a million people there uh, toilet paper is flying off the shelf left and right um, we we just need to keep our cool um, understand it is a stressful situation and look how important it is for civil engineers actually to be out there in the workforce keeping society moving forward uh, to be able to have clean water and roads that work power um, energy um, all of those life essential things um, to help things move forward in society and when um, this virus finally settles down and everyone gets back to work it's just nice that those things are in place so the world definitely needs people to get their FE the world definitely needs you to get your PE license uh, as we need more professional engineers out in the workforce doing what they do uh, best and you know take some time today to enjoy or this week however long this is gonna last uh, to enjoy the little things you got going on be thankful for what you have so uh, that's my advice to you and hopefully um, those are some tips you can take with you uh, if you do find yourself struggling to study uh, and you are a member of any of our courses I'm happy to extend your membership so if if you find that your course access is ending uh, you know about April time frame uh, just shoot me an email Isaac at Civil Engineering Academy and I'm happy to extend you to the next time you take the exam so if you're an FE test taker you know whatever you're doing that if you're a PE test taker we'll make sure you're extended all the way to October um, the other thing I want to announce is that if you are in need of a course um, 
there's some, some things you can do to take advantage of things. We are um, allowing people to get our VIP access. So if, if you do want that, you have time to study at home during this week or the next week, um, go jump on to uh, civilpereviewcourse.com slash VIP. You can get our VIP offering that we're um, giving you that will be available for the next three days. So get you a discount there. The other uh, option, if you're taking the FE, is the Civil uh, FE. Uh, we have a discount for that. So if you go to civilfereviewcourse.com slash VIP, you can go get our VIP discount on that, and that will give you $200 off. So anyway, those are all the resources. Those are tools you can go get to keep your study habits going, because if you do find yourself at home, it probably is a good time to study, even though um, it might be stressful, but it is still a great time to study. Let's go to our comments, see if there's anything out there we can answer for you guys. If you do have any comments, questions, let me know, and uh, I'll get them in the comments, or you can email me. Um, you can also join our private Facebook community. If you go to ceacommunity.com, go join that Facebook community, and you can um, join other like-minded individuals that are going through the same thing you are, whether it's working from home, or studying for the PE, or studying for the FE, or um, career advice. So, Go join that community. It's a great resource for you, and it's totally free. So, cecommunity.com. All right, I'm going to check out some of the comments here. You're enjoying time with your kids. That's great. That's great. That's what we need to do. Um, do you think our jobs are secure during these times? So, the big picture, obviously, with this, um, with everything kind of shutting down, is that if we think it's not going to affect us, I think we don't have the right mindset. Because the, you know, the economy as a whole will eventually affect everybody, whether you're an entrepreneur which or what businesses are, um, or uh, whether you work for a bigger company or not. I mean, every employer is making huge changes, uh, whether that's employment um, or how they stage things. I just think, uh, as a whole, if, if the economy, if people aren't out there spending money, buying things, um, I mean, this is the whole reason why in 2008, when we have a, had a big crash, they did the stimulus package, and they wanted people to get out there and buy stuff, right? Go buy crap. Um, they wanted people, the economy works when we get out and buy stuff. So if you just halt everything for a few weeks, and nobody's buying anything, uh, the economy can kind of take a huge hit, and that's not what we want. So... It's important to keep the economy going, keep the economy growing. The feds have already slashed rates. Um, they're doing everything they can to kind of stimulate the economy again, which is totally fine. So get out there. Um, you know, It's helpful to buy crap still. Uh, travel is almost put to a halt. Cruises are canceling left and right. I mean, I've got a cruise um, scheduled to go um, at the end of April, and I'm noticing in all the notices that they're canceling everything right up into it. And then about the time we go, we can go. So you're hearing some echo. Sorry. Uh, I'll try to fix that. I'm not sure why. So I do think your jobs are secure, especially in the civil engineering world. Um, and that's just because the demand for civil engineers is so high, and they provide life essential things. Uh, roads aren't going away. Water is definitely needed. You're not going to deal, you know, and all these tie to each other, right? Geotech foundations, deal with structures, you know, structural engineering is really tied to the economy as well, so people are pumping money into building new things, building new buildings, building new schools, hospitals, etc. So it's important to keep this economy growing even during a downtime. So uh, I do think your jobs are secure during these times. I think that's one of the huge benefits of being a civil engineer is that they are typically always in demand and uh, they're always wanted and they're always needed. So you provide a life essential skill that people don't have. So, I mean, obviously doctors are up there too, uh, but I, I work I work closely, not closely, I have a guy in, in the neighborhood that studied to be an anesthesiologist, and he's struggling to find work right now because hospitals have cut off all life essential uh, or like procedures that require that, right? So um, they're trying to gear up for the coronavirus. And so... Um, you know, everybody's kind of affected by this. Um, we have to keep the economy going. Things will get crazy, I'm sure, for a little bit. But, um, you know, keep your head high and things will get back to normal soon. You can read about what's going on in China and all the other places. So, um, anyway. 
thoughts, questions, anything to do with civil engineering, please email me. And again, please go join our community at cecommunity.com. And now go take advantage of all the resources I mentioned. Again, a discount if you want PPI's resources, use our discount code as CIVAC, get 15% off. Go grab our exams if you haven't already. Use the discount code of discount5me and get $5 off of any exam we have at Civil Engineering Academy. And then if you need a complete review course that comes with all the good stuff, go get it while we have it. And that is at civilpereviewcourse.com slash VIP or civilfereviewcourse.com slash VIP. And you can get a, a, a good discount uh, and get our VIP disc, uh, offering for a, a complete year access to a course. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions or concerns, again, please email me. Go join the community. Hope you guys stay safe and uh, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye.